he more goes towards the clothes and the shoes and I'm more in the hard goods, but he was encroaching on my hard goods this day. And it all worked out because I got my bolo and he got his bolo. Hey, bolo buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, I have a category video coming your way, but first I am going to show you some footage from the Goodwill bins. And that is where I found these items and Dad Planet found these items. So I'm going to give you the top three in this category. And the funny thing is, is these items were pulled out of the Goodwill bins on the same day, I was going for the ones, he was going for the others. We were on opposite side of the bin. Everybody was trying to get to these toys. And this is what we came out with. Are you ready to see? Okay, so um, who am I talking about? I am talking about Dad Planet. Dad Planet and I did a collaboration video where we went into the Goodwill bins at the same time. And we both sourced, he more goes towards the clothes, and the shoes, and I'm more in the hard goods, but he was encroaching on my hard goods this day. And it all worked out because I got my bolo and he got his bolo and we were actually handing each other what the other person was looking for. So it really worked out great. But let's look at these bolos. All right, I'm first gonna show you some footage from, um, actually here's the videos you wanna go watch if you wanna see the full videos. So the first one is um, Unbelievable Find at the Goodwill Bins, Dad Planet Scored. That's my video. And his video is currently skunking mine with a 9.4 thousand views. And mine only has 6.5. So go watch my video if you haven't already. And if you haven't watched his, go watch his also. But his says, should not have gone to the bins until I found this video proof. So we were both talking about it through um, Facebook Messenger. And I'm like, we need to do a collaboration video, but I really don't need to be sourcing right now. And he's like, yeah, the same. And um, we ended up going and we both found some really fantastic stuff. So definitely go check out the videos. That is what they look like. You can put Dad Planet and Bolo Buddies into the YouTube search bar and it will pull these right up for you. Okay, here's my video first. Something like that. Um... You saw the Febreze thing that I picked up. I did list that. Um, this is a, I believe it's vintage, but I wasn't sure. It's a Cleveland Browns magnetic bottle opener. And you can see here, they are bringing out a new bin. So I leave where I'm at and I head on over because I want to be the first one digging in. Now, this bin was stuffed and I like the small toys, so I'm pretty excited about this, but it ended up being a lot of McDonald's toys. Now, this is an American Girl pup. All right, I'm going to pause right there and uh, come back to you guys and tell you a little something that I have learned since this video. The Duplo Legos, I have been allotting those up and they have been doing really, really good on Poshmark. Um, so the Duplo Legos, Poshmark's the place to sell them. So just keep that in mind. All right, let's get back to the footage. We're getting to it. We're getting to it here. Puppy dog plush. So that was a good find. Um, but as I'm going through the McDonald's items, I see some of the transformers and I will pick up the changeables. I think that's what they're called. They're uh, McDonald's changeables transformers. And I had some in my cart. And I think Dad Planet had two or three that he gave me, but he was looking for another vintage McDonald's toy. And I'm going to let him tell you about that on his video, but I found a few of those and handed those to him. So um, we were both looking for different things. Both of them are Bolo McDonald's toys. So um, definitely check out his video to see which items those were. So those are my um, transformers that I ended up finding. I wish I would have found more. But um, this is a listing that I sold not too long ago. So they definitely do sell and are a nice bolo item. Uh, the one screenshot that I just popped up of the sold, 
that I believe I picked up at a garage sale. It was in a video for, I think, four bucks. So definitely uh, good. Everybody was digging in these toys. Um, that was a little Teletubby McDonald's toy. I might throw that in a lot. There were um, some toys that I pick up and I'm going to make some toy boxes. All right, you guys, I'm getting ready to ship out these little McDonald's Transformers. These are um, from the 90s, I do believe. 90s, yeah, late 90s. There it is. So these two are from, I think, a different time frame. But either way, this one might be also. They all transform. Or maybe it's this one. With the faces. But different years, they came out with different ones. But definitely be on the lookout for these. I sold these for $40.30. The buyer was all in for $48.45. Some McDonald's toys can definitely be a bolo. So here is my sold. So these are the ones that I ended up pulling out of the Goodwill bins. Um, I only got nine. Uh, it would have been great if there would have been more, but nine is fantastic. I sold these for $40.30 plus shipping. All right, you guys. So that was my video. Did you see anything in those toys besides the Duplo Legos that I probably should have picked up? Let me know down in the comments. Now let's go watch Dad Planet's video. All right. Now we are over here at Dad Planet's video. So let's watch his footage from his angle. Most of them because... These are hot sellers. They're not just hot sellers because we are approaching October. They're hot sellers because it's a bolo year round. Halloween is evergreen as a niche and the McNugget Buddies are still very, very popular. So these, these are gonna sell in March. These will sell in January, um, especially now towards the end of September and into October. So I'm digging to see if I can find all of the um, outfits that go with the McNugget Buddies. And look, I end up finding what? Nine of them total. Now, not all of them were 100% complete, but I had this listed and these sold quickly within a few days. So I listed all nine of them with their outfits, some with, some without for 55 bucks. And uh, they sold like a, in a couple of days, very fast seller. It's the second time this year that I've sold a full or close to full set. The first set I sold for 60. And then that set right there, I sold for 55 because it wasn't 100% complete. The set that I sold before was. And so that's why the, um, that's why the price difference. But okay, and here is his original listing, $59.99. He took a best offer of $55. So his bolo won, but um, he sold his for more. Mine sold for 40, his sold for 55, but still just incredible finds from the Goodwill Benz. All right, do you guys want to see the top three trending McDonald's toys that are selling right now? Let's talk about it. All right, so there's three. The number, well, I don't know if it's number one. The number one will do last. And I really feel like that was because of the time of year. So there's your hint. But uh, number one, two, and three. And I'm going to show you how I figured this out after I show you some of these uh, sold listings. All right. So you can see he had the McNuggets and they were the Halloween. These are uh, McNugget buddies, but they've got like, I don't know, like a police officer and a cowboy uh, movie theater person. I, I don't really know exactly who all these characters are. Maybe a little girl um, baseball player, maybe. So they do come in different styles and the different ones are going to vary in price. This one sold on auction for $107.50. All right, here's some more of the changeables like I picked up. This is a huge lot of 22. So 22 of them sold for $109.95 and I sold, what, seven of them for 40? So I think I did really good. Now, you're going to see some variety again. Some of these I did not have. Um, there are lots of different Transformers. I, I don't know if there's certain ones in particular that are maybe a big money bolo on their own. I did not look mine up individually. Most of mine were just uh, standard ones that I had seen before, but like this little guy over here, I've never seen him before. This cheeseburger that kind of looks like a dragon or I, I don't know what he is, but anyway, so it may, may be worth looking them up individually. You could part them out. I suppose there's people out there looking for them individually. I always lot them together. Here's another McDonald's McNugget buddies, and these are the Halloween. 
So this is a much uh, bigger lot and more complete lot than Dad Planet had. And this sold for $122.50. So the outfits are important. You could even sell the outfits separately if you didn't find any of the McNugget Buddies. Here are 37 McNugget Buddies. These are also the Halloween, but a lot of them don't have on their outfits. But, um, and there's some duplicates. So if this would have been me, these right here, all these duplicates, I would have parted these out into smaller lots and sold them that way. These sold for $119 plus shipping. Here are some more changeables. Uh, these, it says two sold. So I don't know if this is just somebody who like picks these up on a regular basis or maybe the first buyer didn't pay and they just relisted it. I don't know why it says two sold. But um, whenever I have vintage toys like this, I would not do multi-quantity because the condition is going to be different and I want to show the buyer exactly what they're getting. So um, I will make two separate listings. I will tweak the title and change the photos so it is not an exact listing, if that makes sense. There's 19 here that sold for $124. And these are more of your like standard ones. Um, and again, condition. Look at the condition. It's not perfect. It doesn't matter. They will still sell. Here's another lot. There's 15 here. These are from the 80s and the 90s. And these sold for $127.50. This little McNugget one. Oh, they're chicken tenders. I've never seen that one. But again, look at the fries. Um, well, is that French toast? I've not seen that one either. So there are some that I have never seen. So definitely be on the lookout for these. You can find them at garage sales, um, even at estate sales. Here's one that sold for $132.51. These are the McNugget Buddies. And again, most of these look to have complete outfits. So I'm sure that helped. And the number one trending McDonald's toy that has been selling during this time frame are the McDonald's vintage buckets. These are the glow buckets. And um, these do not have lids. These are from 1986. And these sold for $167.50. And it looks like there's three of them here. And that was an auction. And that sold October 29th. So there's no way they were getting that in time for Halloween. So Again, like Dad Planet said in he, his video, people collect these things and they will buy them all year long. And I would say off season, you're going to be more likely to be able to pick these items up cheaper. Okay, here is the next one. Uh, these are the McDonald's Halloween bucket pails, again, from 1986. But these are, uh, this one might be the glow in the dark one. I'm not sure if that was the same or not. Let me look at that. Um, I think it is, but uh, the, these didn't even have the lids. So here are four. This is a lot of four. And I'm going to show you here shortly. This is not a fluky thing. These are definitely a big money bolo. Uh, these sold for $202.50. That is what you are looking for, the McDonald's pails. And it is past Halloween now. Should you still be picking them up if you see them at an estate sale, garage sale, thrift store? I would. Here's another set that sold on auction, 36 bids. These sold for 200, October 15th. That probably got there in time. Maybe, maybe not. And all right, so what I did is I went into eBay solds and I searched highest to lowest, McDonald's vintage Happy Meal toys. These up here, we're just gonna ignore because it's just nonsense. Okay, so um, we're gonna start to get into some of the realistic. Now this one, I can believe... Um, because it's a display, anytime you can find the displays, definitely consider picking those up for sure. Um, you're probably going to get those from somebody who was an employee. I don't know, um, as a customer, if you can go in and buy a display. So I'm assuming these are collectors that somehow got a hold of these. Um, here's more of the changeables. Uh, I did not pull that one up. But people sell lots huge lots of McDonald's toys. So if you can get them really, really cheap, that is an option. This one is a Neopets. The Neopets can do pretty well. They're little plush stuffed animals. Um, I do sell those individually when I pick them up. Um, I've done pretty well with them. They are just a bread and butter, but this again is a display with all of the pets attached. So we're gonna keep scrolling. All right, we see our first Halloween buckets. We're going to keep on going here. More buckets, more buckets, more buckets, 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 buckets. All right. And then, 
All right, this is a McDonald's play food set. I think this goes with the, um, there's an actual McDonald's play set. And if you guys find that, it is incredible. Um, it's for kids. I did not pull it up, but I think this is the food that goes with that. If you can find that food or those replacement pieces, they are definitely a bolo. They are not from Mc McDonald's Happy Meals. It is actually a play set like... Um, I don't want to say like a dollhouse, but you know, like a stand up for a kid to play with. So definitely be on the lookout for that also. All right. Here's some more uh, buckets. These are 1994. And okay. Right here. Vintage McDonald's Happy Meal Magic Hamburger Snack Maker. I've never seen that one. So that's some sort of toy um, that you could can buy. And it was from 1993. That sold for 180 Right now, I'm just kind of working my way through the solds kind of to show you how to do research on particular items. Here's those glow-in-the-dark buckets I pulled up. Again, lots of people selling these in big lots. These look to be all sealed. Now, um, really, there's only certain ones that are going to go for big money. Again, here we are at the buckets. We're going to get down to some more of the... Um, right here. Here we go. All right. So now we've got the McNugget Buddies. And the changeables and the buckets. You're going to see these over and over again. I'm not sure what this is. It says original uh, stickers, Happy Meal train set. I don't know what kind of offer they took on this. This is not one I'm familiar with. I'm going to show it to you right now just in case it is a bolo. I did not do any research to see if um, others had sold, but definitely keep it in the back of your mind. Here are more of the changeables, 124. More buckets, more buckets. More McNuggets, McNuggets, buckets. So you can see the ones that are trending right now are the um, definitely the changeables, the buckets, and the McNuggets. So be on the lookout, you guys. I can keep scrolling here, and you're just going to keep seeing them over and over again. Um, there's other things here that we're seeing also, but... Um, if you want to uh, like have a for sure bolo, those are the ones to look for. All right, we're going to talk about something else here. Oh my goodness, look at these. These are old Happy Meal boxes, 62 of them from the 80s and the 90s. How fun is that? Um, $99 slashed out, so who knows what it actually sold for, but definitely something to keep in mind. A tray set? I don't know what those are. Huh. Some more buckets, more uh, McNugget Buddies. So that is what is trending right now, currently on eBay. All right, so let's go over to this video. And this is my friend sourced for me at the Goodwill Bin. So what I'm doing here, and you guys can go watch the full video. I will link it in the description. But I took my friend to the Goodwill Bins for the first time, and I thought she was going to be bored because she had never been to the Goodwill Bins. And I was like, she's probably not going to find a whole lot for herself. So I'm going to give her something to do. Well, boy, oh boy, was I wrong because she filled her cart with stuff to take home for her personal use. And she also filled a bag for me. I bought the bag. I brought it home. I unbox it in this video. And here is one of the items that she picked up here but i lost my original audio so um, i'm gonna do a voiceover for the rest of this here uh there is this view master and i was pleasantly surprised at the comparables on so this view master i actually just shipped out so that sold and these um probably something i may not have picked up and i'm glad i did so um definitely a cool item there all right now one of the items that sold I have sold these in the past, but I probably would not have picked them up because they are typically long tail. And this sold super fast for $16 and I think it was 25 cents. Plus the buyer paid shipping. And it was priority mail. So nice little uh, bolo there, actually. They're the vintage uh, McDonald's Barbies. All right. And there is my listing. So I whited out the background with photo room. Um, if you guys want to check out Photo Room, you can get 10% off your first uh, year if you do the yearly subscription, if you use my uh, link down below. That's my referral link. And I like the white background. I know some of you do not. But what I do like about it is this was pulled back far away and it formats it down to fit 
perfectly into that square, you know, so it's not too far away. It gives you like a good position of your item. So that is another feature. It not only uh, whites it out, but it brings it in to fit the square. All right. So, and you would think like being that there's space between these, you would have like, I don't know if you guys have ever used um, different software and even the eBay white out your background. It just doesn't work very good, especially on things that have space in between them. There's usually like blocks of original color in between them. Photo room is incredible and worth every penny. I absolutely love it. But anyway, this one, I could not believe how fast this sold. I literally pulled it out of that bag and was thinking, oh my goodness, I'm going to have this for like 10 years and it sold so fast. So I don't know, maybe there was a special one in there and it only was a bread and butter item, but hey, I'm good with bread and butter. I'm even good with long tail. I um, always tell you guys that I list it and I forget it and that's what I do. But I also have, I think 7,000 listings just on eBay. Um, I have, I don't know how many on Poshmark and Mercari, not as many as eBay, but I do cross post. I start my items on eBay and then I cross post to Mercari and Poshmark. And I recently did a video on um, jelly cats and I was showing you guys how the items sometimes sell for more on Poshmark and Mercari because they're not as flooded as eBay and different people are looking on Poshmark and Mercari. I also tell you guys that the people on Poshmark and Mercari are sometimes um, hobby sellers and they're really just selling personal items so that they have that money in their little kitty to spend on that platform. Does that make sense? Like they're not doing this for a living. They're just doing it to buy things for their family. And those are your buyers that if you're on eBay, you're missing out on. And if you're cross-posting your items, you may make the sale over on Poshmark or Mercari. So I highly recommend cross-posting. Um, is it a pain in the butt to do just one at a time? Uh, yes. So I tell you guys back before uh, List Perfectly came around, I started Poshmark and I cross-posted 3,000 items from eBay to... Um, Poshmark manually. I had to go in and like screenshot all of my photos. It took me months. And this was before I was doing YouTube or I never would have had time to do this. But so I guess for me, like that makes me super, super thankful for List Perfectly because I've done it the other way and it was awful. Um, but if you want to check out how List Perfectly works, there is a link down in the description of the video. It will um, show you how to actually use the service. I walk you through it. Like I'm one of those where I need to see it like I need to see it to believe it. And um, so I have a demo video down there for you. If you watch that video and you decide that you want to cross post your items, you can use coupon referral code BOLO buddies, all one word, and that will get you 30% off your first month of list perfectly. All right, you guys, let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you have sold these items. Did you know about these items? Are you going to be looking for these items now? Put all those answers in the comments. Oh, and go check out my Ben's videos. I am doing more and more of these and I keep them educational. I will pop up screenshots of everything that I listed, show you what's sold, if it's sold between the time that I did the video and uh, got it edits done and all of that stuff. Sometimes some things sell, but I usually turn them over pretty quick. So um, again, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching.